Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of High Rum Holistics, Lady V. Thank you, supporters, subscribers, and Patreons. Please share these videos with those who you think it might resonate with. If you're interested in any of my services, books, merch, t-shirts, webinars, sessions, and higher realm magic information and meditations, please visit higherrealmholistics.com. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. This is Veronica, Lady B. What's up? We have the victory. Got my mug. Soldier up, baby. And my new tea. One of my new tea. I love this shirt. How cute is this? You're weird. I like you. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, this is NRP 53. And um, it's also like a follow up in a further in depth of NRP 52, what I did yesterday. Okay. Um, it's going to cover, you know, current, current events. And I know a lot of, you know, um, new agers don't like that. They like to pretend they're not here because this isn't really happening. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> and which ways y'all know how much that irritates me, but, um, yeah, because I have to cover these things when it comes to what is going on because major changes are, are afoot. Major things are about to pop off in every aspect. Okay. First, I want to share a really interesting story with you guys. Uh, today's the 21st November, right? Uh, remember I told you my phone, new phone, all of a sudden when I was like, oh, my oversoul was like, you have to go to the beach, get a shot of the Jupiter central sun alignment with our sun to document and to get the codes coming for the micronova. So I went and did, I went to go do that, but I, I heard, I saw, you know, me taking my tablet, which I never bring anywhere because it was like over $700 and I use it only for my conferences, for my webinars. And I was like, okay, I'll bring it. So I brought it with me and when I went to use my phone, it just would like flicker on and flicker off. And on top of that, I was followed by this strange blacked out van, uh, SUV, I should say, going through the dirt roads where I would go bike. And then they stopped because they couldn't go any further because of the road. And then a park person was there in their little golf cart because it's, it's authorized vehicles only and you could walk and, and bicycle there and bike there. And they just stopped, which was really freaking weird. And I got the EBGBs from that. And on top of that, helicopters yesterday, a few of them. So it was a mighty strange day. I brought my phone uh, to get looked at. And the guy's like, he checked the settings. He checked the camera. He goes, there's nothing wrong. But I don't know why it's doing that. So they just ordered me a new phone because they don't know what to do with it. More than one person looked at it. They're like, we don't know. I do, but I didn't want to spook them by telling them, but that's okay. <laughs> Any which ways, while they're looking at my phone, it's like, let me go across the street and just chill, right? I go to the supermarket across the street, <clears throat> get some coconut water. While I'm waiting in line, um, you know, long lines, whatever, because school just got out. It was like four o'clock in the afternoon. So kids are there getting their snacks and stuff. And there's a chick there. She looks like she's in her 20s, African-American. SJW purple hair. I wish I had my camera because yes, in very SJW style, she had the purple hair. Yes, the Kool-Aid hair. And she has her earbuds in and, and people are like, hey, go, go, go. And she's just like, blah, 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 listening to her song. So people are like, okay, whatever. They're going in front of her. And then she finally comes to and it's like, hey, what the so I get really loud and obnoxious, shoved a girl. And I was like, hey, 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 don't do that. Don't touch that girl, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, F you, you white mother effers. And all she was doing was throwing F-bombs and white, white this, white that. And there were Hispanics in the line. There was an older dude in crutches. And he was like, just because she's white doesn't mean you can do that. F you, you. Spick, you know, derogatory word for Hispanic people. 
and me being the only black person there, I was like, could you, I, tur- I had to turn around, I had to say, I said, could you not embarrass the entire race? She stopped, everybody stops. <laughs> everybody got real quiet. Cause I just looked at her and I said, a real cop, could you just stop embarrassing me in that entire race? She turned around and looked at me. F you, you Oreo looking mother effer. I busted out laughing because I have not been called an Oreo since high school. Artificial nigger was actually the other name I was constantly called in high school. And by high school and college, I was picked up more by black kids than white kids. When I was younger, it was all the white kids, Italian and Irish. But in, in college and in high school, it was actually the, the black kids that were picking on me like crazy, calling me an Oreo and artificial nigger real bad zebra all that kind of stuff um because by that time i was in a mixed environment and when at first to eighth grade it was all white with a few hispanics sprinkled in and then my black ass (laughs) the only black kid in my grade and my sister my two sisters and my two cousins who end up leaving because of the harassment but um it's like everyone looked at me waiting to see what I was going to say. And I looked just like this. I had my bangs, my hair up in a ponytail. I was wearing my cute little D just jogging suit because that's why I came from the beach, right? And I just looked at her. I busted out laughing. And I said, actually, my sign-on is Miss Oreo Bitch. Thank you very much. And she's like, why don't you just go mind your own business by your stupid little coconut water with your freaking dusty ass feet? Why don't you go lotion up with your crusty ass feet? And I said, do you have a more extensive vocabulary or is that that that's the extent of your vocabulary? Because you're really embarrassing me at this point. F you, you are your biatch. You probably voted for Trump. <laughs> I kid you not. That was the insult. You probably voted for Trump. I laughed so hard. I was gagging. She just had to walk away because like this bitch is crazy. And she just kept mumbling, Oreo bitch, Oreo bitch. <laughs> I was just laughing so hard. I was just like, whatever. And then I paid for my stuff and went out, got my bottle of water and left, refilled my jugs. As I was leaving, she was up behind me because she was showing her little friend in his little pink sneakers with his little Kool-Aid hair. I was like, yeah, I said, Oreo bitch. Oh, that's the one with the month of crusty feet. Oh, you ain't got nothing to say now. I turned around and said, excuse me? I said, you know what? I'm black just like you. They're going to hang you. They're going to hang me too. Okay. I'll pray for you. And I'll pray for your parents. I said, where is your parents, by the way? Where's your mama? Did she know you're like this? And honestly, when I got to my car, I was like, oh, shoot. I remember walking into that exact same supermarket, that one in particular, and walking in and my daughter was there. This just happened in July. This still summer. And she was cursing out a whole bunch of people, being her SJW fabulous self, yelling at some older woman, calling her a MAGA supporter and saying, oh, you, all those derogatory names with the white this and the white that. And I just literally walked up, picked up my granddaughter who was getting upset, turned around and walked back out. I didn't say nothing to her. I didn't say, I just picked her, I said, you're embarrassing yourself. And I walked out. And I was just like, oh, my God, people looking at my daughter will think, where is her mother? Where are her parents? Why is she behaving that way? The same way I looked at that young woman and was like, where's your mama? And I straight up said that to her. I was like, where's your parents? Is that how you talk to your parents? Is that how you talk at home? If you mind your own goddamn business, if you just mind your own business, you wouldn't be in this mess. I said, what mess? I said, I'm not the one in the mess you are. And then her and the boy just walked away, just cursing, cursing me. And I just stood there laughing. But it really got to me. I was like, wow, yeah. Is that how those people felt? The same way I felt about her? Is that how they felt looking at my daughter, who was behaving the same way? At the same register in the same store. How ironic. Any which way. Thought I would share that, that story. But... The, the funny the funny part was her saying, you, you're one of them Oreos that voted for Trump. <laughs> that, that, that was everything. I'm like, oh, God, only if you knew. I don't vote. 
And I'm not American. I have a green card. <laughs> so I didn't go there. She might have called immigration on my ass at that point. <laughs> I'm legal, by the way. Any which ways, just renewed my card. <laughs> Any which ways, I want to share, um, yeah, my V proof. Let's go here for the V proof. For um, NRV52, right here, Mr. Suspicious Observer posted this uh, early, uh, yesterday evening. Okay. And let's go there. All righty. Let's. I wanted, I wanted to share with you two critical studies that came out this fall directly related to the disaster cycle of Earth and the solar system. They bolster two of the more critical points from the cosmic disaster film. So let's get right to them. Up first was the recent study in the International Journal. Well, 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 what do you know? What do you know? What is he covering? He is covering the micronova that is upon us that I spoke about yesterday morning. How awesome is that? I was kind of surprised to see that this morning. I didn't see it till this morning as a V proof. Um, but I listened to, I watched the video, which of course go to my community page, watch the video. So I watched the video and then also, um, I watched the links that he had, he, that he put and it's exactly what I was saying, you know, and he feels that it's upon us also along with this magnetic, magnetic pole shifting. Now, the way it was told to me, I didn't go into it because it's like, I don't want to, people get so, you know, uh, I didn't want to go into the whole magnetic shift and the tectonic plates because I was shown that actually last week over the weekend, not this weekend, weekend before that, I was not feeling well. And the chakras mainly being connected to what's going on is we have our, it, yeah, it's already pounding, third eye chakra and our solar plex chakra. And some people are going to feel in the root chakra also. That's if your kundalini is not completely up. But you're going to really feel it here in your solar plex. A lot of tummy issues going on. Um, nausea, horrible nausea. And what I kept feeling was this grinding and just hearing it in my head, just for like a week and a half already. And I told my BFM, she's like, she had a sense that I was feeling something. Like I said, we're like twin flames. We came from the same place where our souls were made together to come through this path together. And she's like, ah, I have a feeling you're feeling something. She was, I was almost scared to call you and talk to you about it. I was like, she was, girl, I was like, mm-mm. She goes, are you going to talk about it in a video? I was like, not yet. People will freak out. Literally, I feel the plates grinding like, and I felt that pull, but I didn't know it was Jupiter coming until a couple of days ago when it was like, oh, it's Jupiter that's coming to align with the galactic center. And then I saw that the sun pulsating. I was like, oh, that's why it's looking so bright. And like piece by piece, it was given to me. It wasn't given to me all at once. You know, it's sped to me a little bit the same way I'm feeding it to you a little bit. This is major information. Okay. We don't want people freaking out. So, um, along with the micro Nova, um, a lot of earth changes, of course, the micro Nova is triggering, uh, the polar, uh, what did they call it again? The pole drift acceleration in the pole in the magnetic pole drift. That's exactly how my older soul put it. Um, yeah, an acceleration in the magnetic pole drift. So it's drifting over. And yes, we have our soul star families out there. They're out there buffering between us and the sun. They're out there helping us, okay? And so it won't be as traumatic. But um, let's get over here because I want to show this to you guys. We got this, okay? So... Go to my community page. You'll find that. All right. Now, this is what I wanted to show and play for you guys from BP, uh, real BP Earth Watch. Okay. Um, I just came across this. Okay. So, um, remember, I kept talking to you guys about the Pacific and what's going on in this plate specifically. 
And that grinding that I kept feeling, the earth changes with that solar wind coming in, it affected a volcano in here. Remember, I had also said there were volcanoes that were said to be dormant, had no activity for a long time, or and, and dormant and extinct volcanoes. Rare. All of a sudden, also Iceland. Remember, I mentioned Iceland. Okay? All these volcanoes coming to life again. And it is due to that micronova. And I had some people put... Uh, in in the in rv52 that oh you know it, well one person did it some people agreed oh it, it's because of the chemtrail that's why the sun looks like that two completely different things one has nothing to do with the other i don't even know how they even got that connection one has nothing to do with the other chemtrailing here on earth in no way whatsoever has any effect on the sun and the galactic center and jupiter a lot no and yeah, the sky could look hazy and the sun could look hazy, but that has nothing to do with that, the brightness in the micronova. Nothing. Zero zilch, nada. So please. Not even scientific. I, I, I don't know. Um, and of course I know about geoengineering. Again, what does that have to do with the sun? That has nothing to do with the sun. And the geoengineering can affect these earthquakes and volcanoes and things like that. But that plate grinding, the tectonic, what did my oversoul call it? Tectonic, uh, tectonic plate grinding. That grinding sound that I've been hearing for almost two weeks now going on under the earth. That is not geoengineering. Nope. They cannot, they don't have that much power. They can't go in that deep in the earth. Okay, this plate grinding that I've been freaking hearing has to do with it's like nails on a chalkboard. It's like somebody grinding their teeth. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Ever hear teeth, tooth grinder, teeth grinder? That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, it feels it's like, ah, oh, it's so cringy. Um, that is caused by external energies, that is caused by the pull of Jupiter. Uh, the pulling of the energies from the galactic center through our sun, triggering the micronova, which is, is going to last two years. Okay, it's still 2022. When exactly in 2022 does it complete? I don't know. I don't know yet, I should say. Maybe I'll know later on. But remember, uh, it's the 24th that, because, oh gosh, Remember, it's not just the earth changes, it's triggering. It's not just the sun changes, this micronova is triggering. It has a lot to do with human behavior, okay? It has a lot to do with the awakening energies. It's all interconnected, guys. That's why I'm making this on NRV so you can understand how it's all interconnected. Nothing separate from the other. The unrest that are coming up that are, they've been going on that are going to blow up with ukraine and hong kong and haiti even more yes there are other hot spots but these are the ones that i was shown and had to help those souls that are being tortured and um being assassinated right now i had to help the other night cross over so um let's play what they have okay this is very important listen up november the 20th 2019 as, as you're, you're looking, looking at, at the usg S earthquake map from today and for the last few days I mentioned that we were going to have an uptick in the solar wind speed coming from some coronal openings on the uh, magnetic canopy of the uh, Which I surface mentioned. of the sun. What Which you're looking at on the left okay. in the red are two 6.3s to 6.1 and some aftershocks that go into the fives. And they're spread out. You've got uh, this one that's uh, in the top here. This is Russia, actually Kamchatka, the uh, island there. You've got one here that's uh, Mexico. You've got one here in Thailand. These are the major quakes. Now, the, again, they're spread out. And if you look, because we pull this into California, there is an uptick and some of the quakes, not to, as far as size, but just the pressure along the San Andreas. Why? Because of this quake right there. This 6.3, it's 111 kilometers southwest of Puerto Madero, Mexico. 
that links directly into the San Andreas. So all of you guys pay attention to this. The reason is, again, I mentioned solar wind incoming. And what we're looking at is a chart called a real time solar wind. In the purple line, this is the uh, solar wind speed in kilometers per second. Guys, when we are approaching 438, 470, get up to 500, you're getting close to a million miles per hour. Think of that. It's almost, uh, it's unconceivable to the human mind how fast that is. But what is that? And the ascension symptoms that go with that, because that wind arrived last night, yo, you will feel like you have serious flu. That is the ascension flu. I know some people are talking about it. I've been getting it on and off. It'll last for like an hour, even less than an hour, and then I'll be normal again. Last night, my body took a hit. Your bo my body temperature drops like crazy. My body temperature is already low to begin with. It's normal for me to have like a 95, 96 body temperature, but it'll go down to 94, 93. Like I said, my sister was like, she touched me. She's like, Jesus Christ, you still don't feel like like you're alive. <laughs> like you have blood in your body. You, you still feel like a dead person, just like you did when you were a kid. Whatever. Like I said, if I disappear, check Area 51 for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was chills, cold sweats. Sinus pressure, which I'm starting to have again, whole body just shaking all night long. Um, yeah, and I talked to my mom and some other people, and they're like, you know, who are normies, muggles, and they're like, yeah, I feel like I have the flu, but it's weird because it's coming and going. I mean, am I going to explain to them, hey, that's a suction flu? No, they're not going to get it. Like, you'll be all right. Again, treat your symptoms. Treat the symptoms. Me having gone through this for many, many years, I already got this. You know, many of you who are watching me, we already got this. We know what's going on. It's like, okay, oh, okay, it must be a solar wind. Something's going on. There's a blast, a flare, something. Let's see how long it lasts, right? Let me go to bed and snuggle up with some, you know, footy pajamas. That's basically it because there ain't nothing you can take that's going to help it. And also the migraines, the migraines. But last night it was that ascension flu. That's what usually comes with this, the ascension flu. And this satellite that's picking this information up gives the Earth, depending on the speed of the solar wind, up to 45 minutes uh, heads up. In other words, we have incoming, and that's what we're seeing here. Again, normal solar wind speed around 325 kilometers per second. It's kind of cruising through here. Then we get into today. And we're starting to see this rise. And it's going to last through tonight and into tomorrow. And we're already seeing this early earthquake pressure on our planet. Our shields are weak. So it doesn't take much. So I'll, I'm going to keep it short. Let me put it that way. You guys in the earthquake prone areas, especially California, of course, and anywhere on the planet, keep an eye on this event. We are going from a very low solar wind speed to suddenly it's in the last few hours is getting very high. And look at the reaction of our planet. So just be careful, guys. I want to keep it short. It's a heads up. Be safe. Okay. Now, along with the earth changes, remember, it also affects our body. And oh, I don't have it pulled up, but I did it in RV52 um the alignments going on okay so you have uh jupiter and then later venus on the 24th is going to join jupiter and sagittarius but jupiter is the one having the major is the one having the effect that's why it's there to trigger the the micronova of the sun and align with the galactic center venus is going to also align with the galactic center in Sagittarius too on the 24th, but for completely different reasons. It has to do with the manifestation of prosperity and love and stuff like that. That has to do with our goals and reaffirming our goals. But Jupiter also is there too. So it's the divine masculine and feminine coming together. I explained that in the last video. But um, the other alignment that we have to really watch out for that I put in my last video was... Um, uh, in in Scorpio, 
this is what's going to trigger the human reaction to all this and bring those energies. It's Scorpio is going to be hosting Mars and Mercury. And then opposite of that, directly opposite of that is Uranus in Taurus. Okay. So that is what's going to be busting up. That's the energy. It's like a lightning rod, Taurus representing Earth in the old system and Uranus there. It's like laser focus. Okay. All these energies, these planets are conspiring together. Remember, they're live beings. They have their missions too. They're going through ascension too. Our entire solar system is going through ascension. It's like laser beam focus, oh, blow the shit up. Okay. That's what's going on. So with that, um, when it comes to, that's Haiti. Oh, it makes me cringe every time I think about it. We're going to hit with the Ukraine and the U.S. because it's really important. I love this meme. I find it hysterical. Trump walking in and busting them with all the hands in the Ukraine cookie jar. Hunter Biden should be in this mix also because that is what's going to trigger the Ukraine protest. The people are going to take to the streets after the 24th. Coming up real soon. It's good because that's when it's going to be hitting. Well, it's it's brewing, but look for it around the 24th, okay? It's going to really hit the fan because it's coming out that, you know, how these people were getting paid were from the Ukraine, Ukrainian people. It's like $7 billion, I heard, so far. So the Ukrainian people are going to take to the streets on that, Okay. And uh, there's a reason why you don't see Obama backing up Biden. Each each of these groups, of these cabal groups, they have their fall guys. And it's whoever is caught out there, they're going to have to take the fall for the team. So that's why you don't see Obama with, with Biden backing them up. Because Biden is going to be the fall guy. Him and his whole family, they're going to be the fall guys. So the rest of them could, you know, Create a diversion, throw them to the lion so we could get away. Is it going to work? No. <laughs> it's, it's only going to buy them some time. It's not really going to work uh, because come 2020, they're, they're all screwed. Um, but right now, they're going to throw the, the weak links, the weak links out to the wolves, okay? And in Hong Kong, these poor students, like I said the other day, I was um, helping some of them cross over. They're being assassinated. They're being tortured where they are right now as examples, okay? And if any of you guys done that timeline jumping to on your own with the Agenda 21 and the Agenda 2030, remember I always describe these, these cops, what they look like. They were all black. You don't see them with any defining marks, patches, badges, nothing. And they have the helmets, the black helmets. Remember, this is what I said those Agenda 21, Agenda 2030 police look like. They're working for the, the cabal, okay? They're, they're not part of the regular police, not at all. Just because you see police shield there, they're not part of the regular police, all right? So this is what's going on. Um, Prayers out to all these people in Ukraine and Haiti and in Hong Kong. Um, because, you know, these are the normies. These are the humans coming and stepping out. That's another thing you need to understand. We're dealing it as light workers, as masters from our end. We deal with the timelines. We deal with the ethereal. You know, we deal with it that way. The mankind... They're dealing with it with the way they, the best way they know how. Protesting, taking to the streets. Okay? Protesting and taking it to the streets. This is Haiti. This is the way they know how to fight the system. And the way we back them up and help them is by crushing those timelines, putting out the energies that's going to expose, bring light to the dark. Okay, bring light to this. This is the ex-Haitian president who is right before the guy who's in power right now. This is him with the Clintons. He's the one who sold everything out, the Haitian resources to the Clintons. He's the guy. And the Moise, 
the, he's the current Haitian president. His nickname is the banana man. He actually was working with this guy. This guy is actually known as Sweet Mickey. His name is Marta Lee. And guess where he lives? I know because I worked with somebody who lived right next door to him. Literally next door. I was like, I am not coming to your house because, and he's like, no, I don't want you to come to my house because when he told me, I goes, oh, guess what? Guess who moved in next door to me? And I was like, I, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be arrested. I don't want to be arrested. I, I don't want to be banging on the man's door. If I see him, he's like, you know, he seems to be a nice guy. He's a nice guy who killed thousands of my people and sold my people out and our land to these freaking demons. He was African-American, so he really didn't get the passion of it, okay? This guy's nickname, like I said, this was Sweet Mickey. He actually is a pretty damn good mu mu musician. I actually listened to his music growing up. And every time I hear it, I cringe now because I can't believe it. He also was a crackhead. Mm, literally, crackhead. Smoked crack. Everybody knew it. So this guy, Moise, he's the current president. And... Um, what was it? A few billion dollars disappeared from the uh, oil deal between Haiti and Argentina. Yeah. And uh, before he became president, everyone says he stole the election from this other person who has the same name as me, Maris, <laughs> who's a, a female doctor. Uh, he said she, he stole the election from her. And um, he, uh, Jesus Christ, I get so upset. They, his nickname was the Banana Man because his company made bananas, but somehow he got millions of dollars to build roads. That never happened. All righty. I heard he built some roads now, but still, I remember when I was there, I said, you got to be kidding me. It's not worth billions of dollars. And yeah, it's that bad. I was supposed to actually go to Haiti. Um, today is Thursday with my uncle. He's returning back to Haiti and I wanted to escort him and I brought the tickets and everything and thank God I got the money back. But the airport, no one's coming in, no one's going out right now. It just blew, everything just blew up and I'm, I don't know, I'm praying soon that this guy gets taken out and righteousness gets put in. So that's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> I can't wait for them to fall. Ugh. All righty, so let's get back to me. All righty, everyone, that's what I wanted to share. So, yeah, just keep in mind that the solar energy coming in is not just about earth changes. And it has nothing to do with the chemicals being sprayed in the skies. Or the chemicals, the chemicals being sprayed in the sky is to block a lot of the energy coming in from the bad guys. They don't want us getting the good energy, okay, to, to ascend, to awaken. All right, so less, it's not going to stop everyone from getting it. It'll stop some people. It depends on your vibration. If you're vibrating, vibrating high enough, no matter what they spray up there, it's not going to stop you from incorporating those, those activations. Um, so it's stopping basically mankind, the, nor the humans, not, well, we're all human souls, the normies, the muggles. From, from absorbing that. But that is where we come in as light workers and light warriors, grounding in the energy even more um, and making sure we put it out to our family, our loved ones, and to spread it as far as possible, okay? It has nothing to do with our sun going like Grenova or the tectonic plates or the or the pole shift. The pole shift. And it's not going to be a, a, a 180 pole shift or even a, a 360 or a 180 pole shift. It's a pole drift, and again, our Soul Star family is helping brace us from the incoming energy from the sun, from the from the micronova, and the Earth effects with the um, magnetic pole drifting and the tectonic plate grinding. Okay, um, uh, there's still going to be a lot of things going on, very much so. Very, very much so. So I think I covered everything. All right, guys. So just um, spread your light. That's all I could say. Ground in the energies you're going to 
be feeling a lot of it, a lot of Ascension flu symptoms, especially Ascension flu symptoms. You're going to be feeling like I'm starting to feel it already again. My head is starting to get stuffed up. My third eye is throbbing. Feels whew, just touchy. It feels I can physically feel my third eye right now. Excuse me, just by passing my hand over the front of my face. So a lot of that's going to happen. Again, if you feel the need, treat your symptoms. Okay. All right. Lady V out. Talk to you guys later. Remember, you can still sign up for the webinar coming up on Sunday to help us with these symptoms and to realign our chakras and everything like that for Sunday, which is a pretty big day because that's when Venus joint goes into, uh, is going to be right next to within one degree of, um, of Jupiter. How awesome is that? Uh, aligned with the central galactic sun. Okay. Lady B out.